Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. In this video, I am going to explain the search help concept in Odita service again. Because I have already posted this video, uh, maybe this has little updated options or I can say little uh, additional information has been added along with the search help. So nothing new. Okay. So um, the best part about Odata search help is the code has been generated automatically from the backend system. So we don't want to write any code based on the filter options, whatever is coming from the UI perspective. Let's get into the slide. So here the search help, it works for elementary search help only so this one is the search help which you have already in your um, backend system database so like data dictionary so those search help you are able to access or you are able to use it in this process it can be a custom or it can be a standard search help only option or only restriction over here is we have normally two types of search help elementary and collective so this works only with elementary as of now okay and then uh, collective search help is not applicable for this process even if you try to give a collective search help you will get an error in the initial stage itself the code generates to perform the search help options so code generate means what kind what type of code it's like it it's uh, supports search helps whatever search help you can just execute the uh, auditor servers it automatically without any input value it will work for all it will take all the values okay if you give any values then it will automatically filter it and send the values based on your uh, user input and top will work so the pagination so i want only top 10 records i want only top 20 records that will work uh, i want to skip the first two records yes that's also works okay so most of the uri options the count so those everything will work because the code has been generated for all those process and along with that it will generate the code and get entity method as well as get entity set method because if you want all the data then go with entity set method if you want only one data that that needs to go and get the data from the means get the data in the sense the code to be generated by get entity method so the relevant code is applied in or it's created in uh, get entity get entity set method even it just used or generated some codes and create entity delete update as well okay so those maybe we can see quite later so now we are going to see one day get entity and get entity set method especially for search help, how it works okay and uh, you no need to modify any code as everything is done in dpc level not dpc extension level okay it's all the code generates only the dpc level and if you want to update anything uh, apart from how it works then you need to redefine it then you will get a dpc extension class method then you can do whatever you want okay other than that if you purely want a search help option so you don't want to write any single piece of code everything which is taken care by the search help options in auditor servers so let's yeah let's get into the system and see how we can generate the search help and just walk through the uh, code which which will get generates once you activate your SEGW project. Okay. This is my system. Let me create one SEGW project. So I am an SAP Gateway Service Builder. So I am going to give CGI search. I go with local object. Okay, this is building mistake. That's fine. now right click mm, import search help uh, i believe this option is available in all versions um, because some i may uh, receive a request like i don't have the search help option probably because of the version but it's available from the basic i believe so just try with this option okay import search help and here give the entity type name whatever name you want so here i'm going to give search help for plant same thing i have used with my previous video as well so here you have to give search help name so what is the search help name make sure that is active in your data dictionary backend system data dictionary okay 
So mine is like pp underscore box. So this is actually a elementary search help. So what I see eleven search help display. So this is uh, elementary search help. Okay, and these are the values which has works and name one and you have one more called collective search help okay so if you try to apply or if you try to give this to your search help option in acgw project and just click next click next it will uh, get an error this is not an elementary search help so now system accepts only elementary search help not a collective one so continue and change this to elementary search help and i need a, a create default entity set obviously we need a method for that I'm sorry we need the entity set also for that so just click next i'm just reuse model binding operation query and read I, uh, i'm just selecting those two as well and then it will ask what needs to be done so obviously we are selecting only one so it will listed what other things are available so maximum hit so these are import parameter and if you see works and name it actually a range is available so meaning you can uh, search different way also so not only equal you can give some while call entries so that will automatically taken care by the signature call it filter option okay from the backend uh, dbc class so these are as fine just select it but automatically it select the result also whatever is it's coming back i need that parameter as well okay so this is coming from the as a result set uh, plant works and then plan name to be as a uh, result to the ui click next and what is a key field so i'll go with plants and click finish so that's it your search help is ready to use only last one you have to do is generate so now if you click generate automatically the method along with the search help code also getting generated just continue local object okay so now go to artifacts tpc tpc and methods so all are inherited there is no okay now there are a few redefine create okay those are fine but if you see the entity level is not these are not uh, redefined okay so get entity set double click so these are the code it's automatically generated for the search help option so it as filter filter select options it has maximum hit filter string pagination concept so everything mostly it, it just work for the simple search help so you know what a search help so there may be different input options from the user it needs to be work for everything okay so those are the informations are available here just go through it and this might you can take as a reference um, if suppose manually if you want to do a pagination top and skip for a, a normal uh, get entity set method you can take a reference you can take the code from this method okay to just do the top and skip so and then they'll do the search help for name as well as works not only for plant this will work for name also suppose the user input saying okay i want to search based on the plan name yes then also this code will work and if you see this is an entity set and the same thing is available in entity also so entity also you have but here you don't want you just work for only one record right so based on the the code has been designed excuse me so anything if you feel now i want to be uh, something to be added along with the existing uh, the code me, code level then you can redefine either your entity method or entity set method depends on the business requirement okay so now i'm going to create the auditor service for this project i have here, here execute so this is a normal step local cgi 
search here. So this local object continue. So it's created and loaded successfully. Go back and find the created service. Search in gateway. So execute. It's it works at least. I'm just execute with dollar uh, format XML. So it just gives uh, the design of what we have uh, created and what is the uh, name of your entity set and everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change. It means I'm going to add the entity set execute it works with all the data okay so i heard maximum of record is nine 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 for the search help but the one time it just get only those number of maximum record it fetch okay so here i have the what's the first one okay so zero zero one zero zero two so it just get everything Okay, so now I want to just uh, search with the value. So if you give just one single value, it has to go and get the data with the help of entity method, not entity set, right? So just give execute. So now I'm getting some record, one record or some record, one record. This actually just executed using entity method. And if you feel I want only top two, so just get this one i want to know what are the total count so go to add uri option just a count execute it's okay, 855 so now i'm going to say okay i don't want um, okay this also will work like so count and i want to skip 200 execute so now it's 655. So previously it was 855. So skip 200 at 655. Okay. So then let me remove the count. Question. So I want to remove two. Execute the first one is 001, I believe. So it just execute, uh, skip that one, 001. See, yeah, start with 002. I think that 01 and 001 are the uh, initial ones, so it skipped both. Then, uh, if you want to use top, so I want only top two. Execute. So zero zero is the first one and zero zero one is the second one. Okay. So the another one we're going to see about the filter. So dollar filter option. We're going to say equal name one equals value. So let's get some values from here. this one copy okay execute so it fetch only one record this one and if you want you can add and works equal zero 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 one so the output is same you get only one Suppose if I give the wrong information and execute, it won't get any data. So for a better understanding, what you gotta do is keep a breakpoint and this one. So here, yeah. Yep. One minute. Yeah. Okay, keep a breakpoint here and let me go with the exact value 001 execute 
so if you see these two parameters this is very important means to just get the values so there are two different parameters they have one is the as a string another one is a select options right so for the name this is the value and for the works this is the value so this way it works so now you can just go through this code and if you feel some other uh, program some other requirement if you want to add a filter options just create one search up get the code for your reference and use it whenever you require okay so execute and it get only those records okay so this way uh, search help works or really if you want only search help so you don't want to write any code directly create a search help maybe a custom if you have a standard use it or create a custom search help and map it to an auditor service create a project create a service done it's ready okay it is the easiest way and simplest way uh, for a search help option to a ui from the back end so just uh, play around with this and if you have any doubt please let me know Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.